Welcome to the Marine Discovery Centre. This video is your safety briefing before entering our facility. Please pay close attention so that you can have a safe and enjoyable visit for both you and our animals. In case of fire alarm, we muster out the front of the building and proceed to the village green, which is located up these stairs. This is the main entrance or foyer. This is the pool room. This is the primary classroom. This is the touch tank room. Toilets are located here and there is a single wheelchair accessible toilet that is also more suitable for adults to use. Please do not run through the Marine Discovery Centre. It is very exciting being here but the floor does get wet from splashing fish and we wouldn't want you slipping over and hurting yourself. If you are an adult with a toddler, do not stand them on the edge of the pool, even if you're holding on to them. Benches will be placed beside the pool for very young children if needed, and they can stand on these or kneel, whichever is safest. You may pat the sharks in the pool. Only pat them on their backs, not around the gills, eyes, nose or mouth, and do not grab them. Pat in both directions so that you can feel the tiny teeth on their skin. These are called dermal denticles and they stop the water sticking to the shark's body and this helps them move through the sea more easily. If there are skates in the pool, you can carefully pat these too. Skates look similar to stingrays, but stingrays have a sharp venomous barb on their tail for defence. Skates have thorns on their tail and their back, which are less dangerous than barbs, but they could still hurt you. Only pat the skate very gently around the front of its body, never near its tail or back. Do not pat the other fish. Their bodies are covered in scales and a slimy mucus and this protects them from disease. If you pat them, you could rub this protection off and they could get sick. Also, some of the fish bite, so that's another reason not to pat them. They don't bite you out of aggression, but rather they assume you're trying to feed them, so they think your fingers are food. Be careful when patting sharks because other fish might try and sneak up underneath to eat your fingers. In the touch tank room, we have some important rules to protect the safety of our animals. You can pick up the sea urchins, sea stars and sea cucumbers and hold them out of the water, but briefly. They have tube feet that stick strongly to the side of the touch tank. Gently, but firmly, wiggle and slide them backwards and forwards to remove them from the tank. Sea urchins do look spiky, but the ones we have in Tasmania are harmless. If they are firmly stuck down and won't budge at all, leave it alone and try a different one. Like all the animals in the touch tank, sea cucumbers breathe water, but the sea cucumbers breathe it through their bottom. When you pick them up, they sometimes squirt water out of their bottom. This is them breathing. If this happens, return them to the water immediately so they can keep breathing. Some sea cucumbers can hold their breath out of the water, so if they are full of water and quite firm, you can hold them. But if a sea cucumber is floppy and soft, it needs to remain in the water so it can refill its body. Be gentle with them and don't squeeze them. With sea anemones, gently touch the side of their column or their tentacles, but don't stick your finger down their throat. Crabs are fun to explore, but it's a good idea to hold them by placing your fingers either side across their back. This is also called their carapace. In this position, they can't reach back and nip you and you're perfectly safe. With hermit crabs, Firmly hold either end of the shell with the opening facing upwards and towards you. The crab will eventually and slowly emerge to investigate what's going on. You can gently pat their claws and legs if you wish. The crab might become scared and will suddenly fling itself back inside the shell. Do not drop the shell, even if that startles you. Don't hang them upside down out of their shell. This puts too much strain on their body. Have a safe and enjoyable visit to the Marine Discovery Centre.